Light on? Yeah, let's go. Watch your eyes, guys. Yeah. Everybody have a roll? Okay. We're good? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I want to thank you all for being here. So yesterday, on Memorial Day, at about 2.10 p.m., um, our officer that was injured yesterday in the crash at uh, Westmore and Pentagon, he is Senior Corporal Dale Ordone. That is D-A-L-E. Ordone is O R D. O G N E. That's Dale Ordone. Badge number 8727, and he is assigned to the Southwest Patrol Division. I'm Albert Martinez, Deputy Chief over the Southwest Patrol Division. It's common spelling with an E Z on Martinez. So, yesterday at 2 10 p.m., uh, Officer Ordone, or Senior Corporal Ordone, was en route to a theft of a vehicle in progress, or as we call a UUMV in progress at uh, Keyston Dan Morton. And as he was traveling southbound on Westmoreland, a white pickup truck came across the intersection. Uh, both vehicles collided, basically the front right quarter of the suspect vehicle and the officer's vehicle. Front right quarter, the left, right, uh, left front quarter. They basically bounced off of each other, which sent uh, Senior Corporal Dale Lordone, sending Dale basically off to the side, onto the grass, and over the creek. What happened though, instead of him going down the embankment of the creek into the brush and the trees, there was a basically a 12 inch metal gas pipe which kept him elevated over the creek and he basically rode that over the creek. At that point when as the momentum stopped and it was disbalanced, his vehicle then came off of that pipe falling 24 feet into the creek on its roof. From that impact, uh, Dale suffered obviously very serious wounds. To the credit of our citizens, they rushed down there to help him. Officers uh, were notified, the call came through, they rushed down there as well. But you see on the videos that many of you all have that the citizens were holding that vehicle upright on its side. Uh, the first officer that was there on the scene had, were, they were trying to extricate uh, Dale from the vehicle, but they could not penetrate that windshield. Plus there was smoke starting from the undercarriage of the vehicle. So at that time, uh, the decision was made by the officers and the citizens to flip the vehicle, the patrol car, onto its wheels. From there, they were able to open the door, get Dale out of the vehicle. At that time, they also made the decision that they needed to get uh, Dale up to the street and onto the ambulance because otherwise we'd have to wait for a fire to get a special truck with the uh, ability to reach down into the creek and uh, get them all immobilized and up. So at that time, th again, our citizens, our officers, and our paramedics worked together, got him out of the creek, and got him into an ambulance, and that's how we got uh, Dale to the hospital very quick. Uh, a little bit of information on Dale. Uh, he's been with the Dallas Police Department for 11 and a half years. He is a senior corporal, as I mentioned, and he's been at Southwest, so he is an Oak Cliff officer through and through from the time he started to, to now. Okay. Any questions? How's he doing? He's banged up. He's in a lot of pain, but overall, he's in good spirits. We're very thankful that he's alive, and, and he is too. So nothing life-threatening? No. No. Chief, what's the latest in the investigation? Uh, currently, our vehicle crimes unit, and I will give you a number here shortly, uh, are currently investigating it. They're pulling everything. Again, a credit to our citizens. They were very helpful out there as well in providing information on potential suspects. Um, so that is being looked at right now by vehicle crimes. What do you have to say to the, to the folks out there that help? Well, we, the Dallas Police Department, want to thank our citizens for what they did out there. Um, they came to us at a moment of crisis, and at times when we see the worst in humanity, this is a moment that they showed us the best of humanity when they came together. So we're extremely grateful for what they did.
Chief, you have a problem with uh, with those burglaries. How many do you think you can tie to these guys? Because we were out there yesterday, we're thinking more than 10, 12, maybe 13 robberies right. or burglaries, rather. Well, we heard the same thing. We heard around 10 to 13 burglaries may be attributed to the potential suspects, but at this time we haven't confirmed any of that. Right now we're looking at the at the crash and what, what happened there, identify the suspects, and then we will see how we can link that to any potential burglaries and car thefts that we've had out there. Yeah, the community feels like they've sort of been pretty active there and terrorizing the community when it comes to this kind of stuff. Yes, and, and uh, unfortunately, this was the first that I had heard of that on that day. Chief, knowing the officer's injuries, he's got punctured lungs, he's got uh, broken bones. If the citizens had not flipped over that car, give us a sense of what would have happened to him. Well, uh, obviously we, we know that moving him would have, may have caused, we obviously don't want to move him when he's injured like that, but the decision was made because of the smoke filling the car felt it was better to get him out. Um, really, to me, the, the greatest difference was we could have lost another officer at Southwest yesterday. And I'm very thankful to the citizens and, and all for us being able to get him out and get him to the, to the hospital. So the person that hit him just ran off? <clears throat> got out ran off? Yes, sir. And there's no um, video, dash cam, nothing of this guy? Not, none that I know of. I don't know if vehicle crimes has pulled all that. Uh, we believe it was four to six suspects in the vehicle. The vehicle is stolen. Um, and so, again, we're trying to pull all that together. So let me give you the vehicle crimes unit, uh, vehicle crimes unit uh, phone number. And we ask any citizens with information that may have seen this or have anything that can help us proceed further in this investigation. That number is 214-670-5817. That's 214-670-5817. And again, we are extremely grateful to our citizens who helped us on the day that we needed the help. Chief, you guys did question some people. Are they people of interest? Or what are what, the people that you guys took in that you were questioning about this? What, what are they? Unfortunately, that information I don't have. Again, we're leaving that to vehicle crimes to determine who we think uh, is investigating this, or I'm sorry, who we think is involved, because again, there were multiple suspects, and until they tell us exactly who is involved, then we can proceed further in that investigation. Thank you. Thank, thanks, Chief. Thank you. Chief, can we go this way?